At first I thought the world was Jewish, and then I graduated from high school and found out that it isn't. And then I discovered I'm from Greece, I'm a Greek Jew, I'm very special. And then it wasn't until I was in my early 20s when I realized, no, I'm not a typical Greek Jew, I'm a Romaniot Jew. Kehil Kadosha Yanina, tucked between a Chinese merchant and a glass shop, looks out of place among the rundown storefronts and tenements at neighbors on Broom Street. Inside, however, one can glimpse the remnants of a unique branch of Jews that once occupied the whole block. This unassuming synagogue is the only Greek Jewish or Roman Yot temple in the Western Hemisphere. It was founded in 1927 by Jews who came to the United States from the town of Yanina in the northwest region of Greece. Some of the reasons were very similar to the reasons any immigrants come to the United States to find a better life for themselves and for their children, educational opportunities, economic opportunities. But unlike Ashkenazi Jews, they were not really fleeing persecutions and pogroms. Leon Kolchomiro's grandfather was one of the founders of the synagogue. He used to wait at the docks when Greek Jews would come into the city, off Ellis Island, and help find them places to live and, and jobs. Coming here to the United States, all you needed was a sewing machine and you became an entrepreneur. So, so many of these early businesses literally started in the basements of the tenements. Most of our people opened their factories and they were all families that, that worked together, um, Matzel and Sons, Baruch and Sons, and they were in Lower Broadway. They found their little niche in the garment uh, industry in uh, aprons, ladies' underwear, uh, bathrobes, and nightgowns. We lived across the street with five children. The whole block here was all Greek, every village. Besides the holidays, even the Saturdays, I couldn't go in front of the door. There were so many people. It, it was something to see about it. Newly arrived Roman Yot Jews preserved their identity at the synagogue. It represents not Jews from Greece, but Jews from Yanina, a particular city in Greece. And most of the Greek Jews were in Saloniki, Salonika. And they were Sephardic Jews, <coughs> their basic language being Spanish, Ladino. Whereas the Jews from Yanina had, had been there for centuries, centuries from the time of the Romans. So we're not Sephardic Jews. And I always wondered why um, my family, my parents, grandparents, didn't speak Spanish, but spoke Greek, because we're known as the Greek-speaking Jews. Or Romaniot Jews. Romaniot. Romaniot. Romaniot Jews. Romaniot Jews share the same beliefs as Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews. However, their cuisine, language, and cultural practices remain unique some of which may surprise anyone accustomed to a typical Shabbat dinner. I never saw a matzah ball in my life until I was about 22. And I still have difficulty with gefilte fish. I can't figure out what that gel is. And in my house, if something was ground, it meant you were trying to hide something. We ate the whole fish, head and all. We ate a good deal of leek. Uh, Prasa. 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 Okra. Bamia. Eggplant. Patrician. <laughs> Friday morning with the cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Your mother. Your mother. Your mother. My mother. My mother never the cigarette me. hanging out of her mouth <laughs> in the kitchen and the beans are on the the stove the stove and they're, they're simmering Super and simmering thing. and they're yes, simmering and they're simmering <laughs> and there's pieces of lamb in it. Yes. The one that your father sucks the middle out That's of the marrow.
Food isn't the only way Romagnote Jews differ from other branches of Judaism. We, we carry the Torah just like they do. Our Torahs are encased in what's called a teak, so that unlike the Ashkenazi Jews, they remove uh, some sort of a cloth and you can uh, open the Torah completely. Our Torah always remains in a wooden box. And one of those Torah scrolls, from what we've been told, dates back to the 1750s and is one of only three still in existence with traditional Romagnote style of Torah scroll writing. Services at the synagogue differ as well. The um, services are conducted primarily in Hebrew with the exception of certain piyutim or pieces of poetry that are done in uh, Judeo-Greco, which is a mixture of Hebrew and Greek. It was a liturgical language, but there was also a vernacular that was spoken uh, where the Greek was written in Hebrew letters. One distinguishing custom of Roman Yot Jews is the genealogical tradition known as the Aleph. An Aleph is a amulet, a protective uh, device that is created at a young boy's brit milah, his circumcision. And it was something that was made for every boy in Yanina, and a tradition that was carried over here at least until the early 1930s by the community. On the very bottom, it becomes a, a genealogical document because they list the child's grandfather's name, father's name, and his name. During the 1950s and 60s, Roman Yot Jews began moving into the outer boroughs and the suburbs. The building had fallen into a great deal of disrepair. There was a tremendous amount of graf graffiti on the facade. There was um, uh, uh, painting, the doors were painted, the um, uh, different colors, the uh, stained glass windows had been destroyed. Uh, uh, the round window in the middle of the building was completely gone. As an architect, Leon led a skillful restoration of the synagogue. The restoration started in 2002, and the exterior was completed in 2004. We won the Lucy B. Moses Award for Architectural Preservation then. We were declared an historical landmark by the city of New York. The restoration is still an ongoing process. The synagogue still holds Saturday and high holiday services. It also offers classes in Greek cooking, music, and dance for anyone interested in learning about Roman Yot culture. But mainly, it gives Roman Yot Jews a connection to their community and their past. This is my roots. My parents would be very proud to look down and see that we come here together. And this brings the three brothers together as well. No, we don't come every Saturday, but we're on the board of directors. We take an active interest in this place because it's our heritage. Michael, Shad Israel, Eliyahu and Gabriel, Bashiruna Ageuna, Beshadanela, El Nora.